Y'all, Trump is trying to save face now. He's trying to save face. This is the third loss for the Trump administration in a row. A lot of people don't realize he lost when he backed the Virginia governor. And there was also a runoff race in Alabama. And then the Roy Moore race with Doug Jones. This is the third loss in a row. Every single candidate Trump has backed up on the state level has lost in the last three elections. And the Republicans are losing, even here in the state of New Jersey, where I am. Chris Christie lost. He did not win. This state went from Republican to Democrat. And this shift is happening. It's real. Now Trump is coming out and saying after he endorsed more and he, he was all over Twitter endorsing more. He went public. We saw him go public endorsing more. Now all of a sudden he's coming out today saying, I said Roy Moore will not be able to win in Alabama. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. <laughs> no, you didn't. So now he's trying to tuck the tail in between his legs and hide. Now, normally I don't care about politics because as far as I'm concerned, the Democratic and the Republican parties have never stood by the black community in a good way. You know, I'm not one of those people that's fooled by the Democrat, liberal, talking all kinds of crap. Because at the end of the day, they don't have a good track record of standing by us either. But let's get into this article. So now Trump is backing away and he's now trying to say he never thought he could win. But these are not the words we heard. Hmm. Funny, huh? The White House aides were bracing for fallout from Trump on Wednesday after the Republican candidate. He vigorously backed, which we all saw, over his aide's objections, lost a deep South Senate seat to a Democrat. Mm-mm-mm, y'all. Mm-mm-mm. People were at the White House was telling him not to endorse more. Trump ignored them and endorsed him anyway. Aides acknowledged that Trump, who jumped in with a strong endorsement of Roy S. Moore, without telling most of his advisors, rarely assumes responsibility for a misstep. And they anticipated him looking for someone to blame because we know he don't take responsibility for nothing. Even his own fuck ups are somebody else's fault. By early Wednesday, Trump was weighing in and painting the loss as a sign of precedence. Trump, maybe it has a lot to do with all of your unruly tweets, which is totally inappropriate for a president. You going public and doing a lot of inappropriate things and saying a lot of inappropriate things. Maybe that has a lot to do with it. This is not the behavior of a president at all. The only thing he proved is that... He's willing to just sit and be a toddler all day and not do any work. Trump don't do any work. All right. There's already been articles out of him admitting he watches eight hours of TV every single day. He's on Twitter every single morning and he never has anything decent to say. He's bashed his own cabinet members. He went out there against politicians, 
the NFL, the NBA. I mean, it, it, he just goes out there just to cause all kinds of rife. He fought with Puerto Rico and places that got hit by hurricanes. This man doesn't do anything but not get along with people. So after that kind of public display, how do you have the expectation of being winners of anything? I guess that's your own stupidity. Now, this is a tweet that he came out with this morning after Roy Moore lost. But this was not what he was saying prior to. Donald J. Trump, the reason I originally endorsed Luther Strange and his numbers went up mightily is that I said Roy Moore will not be able to win the general election. That is not what you came out and said. You were supporting this man all the way down to your last breath. I was right. Roy worked hard, but the deck was stacked against him. This is not true, y'all. Go look at Donald Trump's tweet before the Alabama election. He was strong in Roy Moore's corner. He was very strong. Now, after the election, he's now walking this back. He did the same thing with the Virginia governor's race. He backed the GOP candidate. They lost. Virginia is now Democrat. New Jersey is now Democrat. <laughs> okay. All of these states are going from Republican to Democrat now. Okay. In the White House, there was a sense of relief among some aides that they would not have to answer for Mr. Moore's action in the Senate. You know, they, you see how they secretly will stay on code and not come out and really express how they feel? See, it's safe now. The election is over. But Aid said Mr. Trump might still fault others for the loss. The list of those who might be targets in his ire include the Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, Republican of Kentucky, whose advisors pressed the president to back Senator Luther Strange in the primary, only to see him lose. So that was one GOP candidate. The Virginia governor was the second, and Roy Moore is the third. So the last three candidates Trump backed all lost. Okay, so um, one of the advisors said that Trump would still nurse a grudge against Mr. McConnell, whose instincts the president does not trust for leading him to the original endorsement. See, Trump is already pointing fingers at everybody. Mm -mm. This man is a big ass baby. Those advisors said the president was in trouble, was troubled watching a stream of Republicans step away from more over decades old allegations of sexual misconduct with teenagers, and he did not want to join the stampede. That's only because Trump has sexual allegations against him. That's why he could back somebody like Roy Moore. See, to these men, doing stuff like that to women is no big deal. They don't see what the big problem is. That's why they do it. Instead, the president threw the full weight of his office and reputation behind Moore, which we all saw. We all witnessed this. But ladies and gentlemen, a day later, he didn't think Roy Moore was going to win. He's coming out in public and denying that he thought he was going to be a winning candidate. And we all know that's not true. This man is a mess. Woo, man, you need to get your orange can out and just spray some orange on you and, and move on because <laughs> you already put your foot in a doo-doo 
And now you expect us to act like we didn't see it. We all saw you put your foot in the doo-doo. <laughs> we all saw it. Trump's first reaction to the Democratic Party win, which he absorbed while in the White House residence, alone for much of the evening with the First Lady out of town, was a demure Twitter post congratulating Doug Jones. A win is a win, Trump wrote, adding that Republicans would have another chance at the seat vacated by Jeff Sessions, now Attorney General, soon enough. So, mm -mm -mm. you can best believe they are taking it on the chin. See, Steve Bannon and Trump thought they were going to have a lockdown on the GOP and have the kind of rebel type candidates that they are, you know, kind of people that they are um, in these seats. And it's just simply not happening. I tell you, I'm not going to lie to you. I take great pleasure in watching these Trump losses. <laughs> and I hate politics, but I do take great pleasure in this. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. I will leave the link to this article in the description box. Please leave your comment and subscribe. And don't forget to hit on that bell. That way you don't miss my next video. Peace, family.